lot of you may wonder why you encounter so many dark people or just people that are ill-intentioned. They come in and destroy lives, break hearts, cause people to even lose hope. And these people are deceitful. They are, they basically have the spirit of the devil or just low vibrational entities. Some of them are fully possessed. And it's because of the fact that they are reincarnated in this lifetime to complete certain contracts that involve them behaving in that way. So some of them willingly are in that energy others of them are not and then they meet you a person who is directed by light by hope by love unconditional love and even christ consciousness and they automatically see you as an enemy so you encounter certain people to obviously defeat them because these people are controlled by beings that we may not necessarily understand by dark energy um, by dark forces these people could be tied to underground crime syndicates to cults to the system even because the system that governs and controls the earth is the type of energy that basically feeds off of fear off of suffering off of controlled oppression and they're used to just killing people off anyone that stands up to these type of individuals they end up losing something of value even their own lives um, they basically take out the competition they will sacrifice even children if necessary but then they encounter someone like you who is fully protected at the most level the highest level even and they basically see the differences between dark and light so certain people that you encounter it's meant to be that way so that you can defeat them because you may be the only one that has the strength that has the ancestral lineage that even has the power and the dna codons to be able to do so because you're aligned with your universe you were incarnated in this lifetime with certain gifts that are encoded in your pineal gland and certain traumas transgressions and heartbreak that you go through activates these gifts within you and it also gives you the power to be able to match up to those that may not have been defeated in this lifetime or even previous lifetimes it's like these people are known to do rituals and use otherworldly things to be able to stay in power to be able to even find the key to immortality or they may just even destiny swap or switch bodies to be able to continue whatever goal they have in mind so in turn what i'm trying to say is that you're someone who's extremely powerful yes you may look like a regular human being but your energy codons and vibration are meant to basically help human beings ascend to basically eradicate and radicalize the systems that have been governing the planet for once for so many years and with the page of pentacles it's like what you are willing to do and what you have done is solid and the people that you've encountered, the demons, the entities, these evil beings, isn't even a fraction of what you're going to encounter in the future. So those of you that do want to be politicians, you do want to have philanthropy work, you do want to change the world. Well, this is basically like a training ground. It's basically been a test run because now you're going to start encountering people that actually have power, that actually have money, that actually have influence. And in order for you to be able to encounter these type of people and defeat them there's a certain level of knowledge and mindful wisdom that's necessary when it comes to you you have the power to activate many people simply by just being who you are and you have the ability to create a new pathway you're essentially leading the pack and your back is to them so you're leading a group of people just by simply being yourself you activate other people around you and you make them realize that they don't want to live in this type of world that's governed by greed, by unnecessary suffering, by chaos, by turmoil. And you show people that there is another way because the King of Pentacles in reverse is someone who's corrupted. So there's a lot of co corruption in the world. There's a lot of um, racketeering. There's a lot of extortion. And you're essentially collapsing an empire by dealing with the issue from the roots. And with the Empress in reverse, there's a lot of mother figures specifically that breed these type of children that are here to just continue the toxic regimes that have governed the planet but because you have the wisdom and the knowledge to be able to spread what you know and you have the, the power to do so mentally with not just your ancestral line and the things that you've gone through within the suffocation that has been happening on this planet is going to start to alleviate and those that have been in power their power is now lessening every day you get stronger every day you learn something new every day you shine light towards the darkest pits of this planet and this earth and you're essentially choosing a different way and it's showing people that they don't have to be afraid the ones that they followed the people that didn't have the best interests of the public at heart they're falling from grace and new leaders are in place so yeah they may try to harm you 
yes, they may try to come after your life, your family, your children, but you're protected by the highest beings of this universe. They can try, but they will not be successful. And they will be essentially caught by their own traps. So I've experienced this myself, and I can tell you firsthand, people will try and attempt to do things to you, but they will not be successful. All they will do is be left in their own confusions and illusions, and essentially even end up unaliving themselves. By trying to attack you, they attack themselves.